Hello again, everyone. Welcome to our daily devotion for Saturday, April 22nd, 2023. Thank you so much for spending this time with me in God's word today, as together we grow in our faith and in our knowledge of Jesus Christ as our Savior. We have been listening to a long series of pronouncements of judgment against various individual peoples and nations. Today, the Lord is going to talk about how he will bring judgment on the entire earth. Look, the Lord is stripping the earth bare and making it desolate. He will twist its surface and scatter its inhabitants, people and priest alike, servant and master, female servant and mistress, buyer and seller, lender and borrower, predator and debtor. The earth will be stripped completely bare and will be totally plundered, for the Lord has spoken this message. The earth mourns and withers. The world wastes away and withers. The exalted people of the earth waste away. The earth is polluted by its inhabitants, for they have transgressed teachings, overstepped decrees, and broken the permanent covenant. Therefore, a curse has consumed the earth, and its inhabitants have become guilty. The earth's inhabitants have been burned, and only a few survive. The new wine mourns, the vine withers. All the carousers now groan. The joyful tambourines have ceased. The noise of the jubilant has stopped. The joyful lyre has ceased. They no longer sing and drink wine. Beer is bitter to those who drink it. The city of chaos is shattered. Every house is closed to entry. In the streets they cry for wine. All joy grows dark. Earth's rejoicing goes into exile. Only desolation remains in the city. Its gate has collapsed in ruins. For this is how it will be on earth among the nations, like a harvested olive tree, like a gleaning after a grape harvest. They raise their voices. They sing out. They proclaim in the west the majesty of the Lord. Therefore, in the east, honor the Lord. In the coasts and islands of the west, honor the name of the Lord, the God of Israel. From the ends of the earth, we hear songs, the splendor of the righteous one. But I said, I waste away, I waste away, woe is me. The treacherous act treacherously, the treacherous deal very treacherously. Panic, pit, and trap await you who dwell on the earth. Whoever flees at the sound of panic will fall into a pit, and whoever escapes from the pit will be caught in a trap. For the floodgates on high are opened, and the foundations of the earth are shaken. The earth is completely devastated. The earth is split open. The earth is violently shaken. The earth staggers like a drunkard and sways like a hut. Earth's rebellion weighs it down, and it falls never to rise again. On that day, the Lord will punish the army of the heights in the heights and the kings of the ground on the ground. They will be gathered together like prisoners in a pit. They will be confined to a dungeon. After many days, they will be punished. The moon will be put to shame and the sun disgraced because the Lord of armies will reign as king on Mount Zion in Jerusalem and he will display his glory in the presence of his elders. We now continue reading in John's first letter, as John talks about various aspects of how we are to live as children of God. My little children, I am writing you these things so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous one. He himself is the atoning sacrifice for our sins, and not only for ours, but also for those of the whole world. This is how we know that we know him, if we keep his commands. The one who says, I have come to know him, and yet doesn't keep his commands, is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, Truly in him, the love of God is made complete. This is how we know we are in him. 
the one who says he remains in him, should walk just as he walked. Dear friends, I am not writing you a new command, but an old command that you have had from the beginning. The old command is the word you have heard. Yet I am writing you a new command, which is true in him and in you, because the darkness is passing away and the true light is already shining. The one who says he is in the light but hates his brother or sister is in the darkness until now. The one who loves his brother or sister remains in the light. And there is no cause for stumbling in him. But the one who hates his brother or sister is in the darkness, walks in the darkness, and doesn't know where he's going, because the darkness has blinded his eyes. I am writing to you, little children, since your sins have been forgiven on account of his name. I am writing to you, fathers, because you have come to know the one who is from the beginning. I am writing to you, young men, because you have conquered the evil one. I have written to you, children, because you have come to know the Father. I have written to you, fathers, because you have come to know the one who is from the beginning. I have written to you, young men, because you are strong. God's word remains in you, and you have conquered the evil one. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride in one's possessions, is not from the Father, but is from the world. And the world with its lust is passing away, but the one who does the will of God remains forever. Children, it is the last hour, and as you have heard that Antichrist is coming, even now many Antichrists have come. By this we know that it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they did not belong to us. For if they had belonged to us, they would have remained with us. However, they went out so that it might be made clear that none of them belongs to us. But you have an anointing from the Holy One, and all of you know the truth. I have not written to you because you don't know the truth, but because you do know it and because no lie comes from the truth. Who is the liar, if not the one who denies that Jesus is the Christ? This one is the Antichrist, the one who denies the Father and the Son. No one who denies the Son has the Father. He who confesses the Son has the Father as well. What you have heard from the beginning is to remain in you. If what you have heard from the beginning remains in you, then you will remain in the Son and in the Father. And this is the promise that he himself made to us, eternal life. I have written these things to you concerning those you, who are trying to deceive you. As for you, the anointing you received from him remains in you, and you don't need anyone to teach you. Instead, his anointing teaches you about all things, and is true and is not a lie, just as it has, been, has taught you Remain in him. So now, little children, remain in him so that when he appears, you may have confidence and not be ashamed before him at his coming. If you know that he is righteous, you know this as well. Everyone who does what is right has been born of him. And now the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you peace. Amen. Thank you so much for spending this time with me in God's word today. May the Lord richly bless your day. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow.